TrueSync is a desktop sync app that creates a virtual drive of your work drive account without taking up your storage space on the computer. You can create and edit files on the virtual drive and they will be synced back to your work drive web app. To download TrueSync, go to the link shown on your screen. Click on the download TrueSync button. Once the download is complete, open the TrueSync file and begin the installation. When the installation is complete, log in to your WorkDrive account and select a team. The sync process will begin and all your team folders will appear on your drive as virtual folders. A virtual folder shows all the files and folders stored in your WorkDrive account, though none of those files are downloaded to your system. Once you click on a file, it will be downloaded for you to view and edit. Any changes you will make will be synced to your account. To create or upload a file in your virtual drive, you need to ensure you have the required permissions for the selected work drive folder. For example, in a team folder, you must have at least an editor role to add or edit files. To create a folder, right click and select new folder. Your new folder will be synced to your account immediately. To add a file to your folder, right click on the folder, select new and then select a document type. You can also drag and drop files and folders into your virtual folder and they will be synced immediately to your web app. Create Zoho files from within the TrueSync app. To create a file using Zoho Writer, Sheet or Show, go to the TrueSync app on your taskbar or menu bar. Click the New button and select the type of file you want to create. The corresponding editor app will open in your browser. Any changes you make to the file will be synced to your account right away. WorkDrive TrueSync gives you flexibility when saving your files. While files are only accessible online by default, you can choose to save important files for offline use if needed. To do this, Right click the file or folder in your virtual drive, then select Work Drive TrueSync and click Available Offline. A green check mark will appear beside the file to show that it is now available offline. Sometimes you may need to check a file directly on the web to answer a comment or to change access levels. To open a file on the web, right click the file and select Work Drive TrueSync. Then select View on Work Drive Web. Now let's take a look at some useful settings and preferences. Click the TrueSync icon on the taskbar or the menu bar on Mac OS. Click the settings icon and then select the preferences menu. In the general section, you can set up your app preferences. Overlay icons are miniature icons displayed alongside your virtual folders. They denote the current sync status of a folder, such as offline or online only. The next option lets you decide if you would like to start the TrueSync app on System Starter. In the Account section, you can see how much data is being consumed by your WorkDrive account. Please note, this is not the amount of storage that WorkDrive TrueSync is taking up, but only the data used by your account. The cache drive stores the data of all recently opened files and folders, as well as your offline data and data in files that are not yet synced. In the case of storage constraints, you can choose to move this data to a different drive. The preferred drive option 
let you select the drive where you will mount your virtual folder. By default, virtual folders are stored on the Z drive. With this option, you can adjust the upload and download speed of your work drive files when they are synced. And that's everything you need to know about the features and settings in WorkDrive TrueSync. Are you ready to sync your files with this simple and efficient tool? Download the app now.